Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a 3v4 asymmetrical game. Three cannibalistic family members scour the map hunting down four victims. The victims must escape through one of four exits. The fuse box powers the basement exit and must be activated by obtaining a fuse hidden somewhere around the map. The pressure tankard powers the pressure valve exit and can be powered by obtaining a pressure valve also hidden somewhere around the map. After a certain period of time passes, both of these exits will close and need to be reactivated again. The generator electrifies a side exit. Anyone who steps along the electrified barrier will be denied entry. This generator must be sabotaged if any victims want to make it to this exit. The carjack electrifies the fourth exit, whose electrified barrier must be turned off in order to make it past. Each victim spawns in the basement and must acquire various tools around the map if they want any chances of making an escape. That of which include lockpicks to unlock doors, health bottles to heal injuries, and bone scrap to break noise detectors and disarm hitchhiker traps. Speaking of family members, the family, on the other hand, is trying to prevent all that. The hitchhiker spawns with three bone traps, which can be placed down to ensnare and injure victims with. Once captured, victims are trapped until broken free. The trap is reset and needs to be rearmed again. Unlike the cook, Otherface, and Johnny, Hitchhiker has the ability to traverse through tight cracks and crawl spaces, a unique chase attribute he shares with the sissy, whose ability allows her to create poisonous smoke clouds that weaken and disorient victims who walk through them. She also has a poison powder, which she can use to poison health bottles, the fuse, and the pressure valve, that of which makes escaping her nearly impossible. She can refill poison powder at various mortar and pestle stations scattered around the map. She's also known for her innate ability to collect blood quickly. Blood can be fed to grandpa and can be obtained by injuring victims or harvesting from blood buckets. The more blood grandpa has, the more powerful he becomes. Although not a playable character, he helps the family out with his mighty roar, revealing any moving victims at higher frequencies the more blood he has. The cook has the ability to reveal victims through walls by using sound waves to hone in on their location. He can relay this information to other family members and he also spawns with padlocks that can be placed on doors to force victims to require having a lock pick to break through. The Leatherface has a chainsaw that allows him to break barricades, doors, and vents throughout the map. His chainsaw also grants him a special ability. By revving his chainsaw just barely before overheat, he breaks into a sprint and is able to deal a significant amount of damage upon landing an attack on a victim. Johnny has the ability to track victims down. By investigating their footsteps, he can follow a victim's exact trail. He also has the ability to concuss victims with his melee attacks. Much like how each family member has a unique ability, each victim has one of their own as well that completely changes their playstyle when it comes to evading the family. Connie has the ability to instantly lockpick doors, with a downside of completely draining her stamina for a short period of time. She excels at breaking through the barriers that would typically slow down other victims. Leland has the ability to tackle family members to the ground, allowing him to turn the most dire situations into ones where he actually has a chance to escape. Julie has the ability to perform actions quietly and use stamina more effectively over a short period of time. She excels at being less detectable when close to the family members. Anna has the ability to reduce damage taken for a short period of time. If the family members have her in a tough spot, she can excel at making a getaway in situations where other victims would normally get caught. Sunny has the ability to pinpoint the exact location of nearby film members or victims, allowing him to plan out a route more effectively than the other victims to avoid trouble. When it comes to survival, each victim has their own set of innate attributes, correlating to actions they would excel in game with. Toughness determines a victim's maximum health and incapacitation recovery time. Throughout the match, 
each victim's health bar gradually deteriorates. The less full your heart meter is and the faster you bleed out, eventually leading to incapacitation. You're granted the ability to pick yourself up one time each match following an incapacitation. But once you incapacitate again, you die. Endurance determines the victim's total stamina capacity, along with how fast stamina drains and regenerates. Strength determines how long family members are stunned from sneak attacks and how difficult it will be to perform certain objectives, such as opening crawl spaces or disabling generators. Proficiency determines how quickly victims can complete skilled environmental interactions, such as lock picking, item gathering, ease box opening, and pressure valve repair, along with car battery disabling. Stealth determines how silently victims perform actions, which can be indicated by a visual noise meter. When a certain noise meter threshold is surpassed, all family members are shown a loud noise notification of precisely where you are. When it comes to family members, they also have a set of attributes they can use to murder more effectively. Savagery determines a family member's melee attack damage. Blood harvesting determines the amount of blood gathered from blood buckets, wounding or executing victims, and the total amount of blood that can be carried. Endurance determines the family's total stamina capacity, along with stamina drain, regeneration rate, and melee attack frequency, that of which coincide with the three paths of each family member's skill tree, with each path granting a specific set of perks relating to the attributes a family member chooses to excel in. Once a path is chosen, it's impossible to pick from others. In order to do so, you need to respec. In order to regain spent points, then spec all over again. Total points spent will remain on characters' skill trees until you respec them. Then they can be used on different characters. In order to gain skill tree points, you need to level up your player level by playing matches of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All perks have unique functions that can be further enhanced by leveling them up. To level up perks, you need to use them in matches. You can also level up your ability by playing a character for a certain period of time. You'll be granted points to further enhance the capabilities of your ability. Speaking of abilities, family members also have Grandpa Ability Perks, which are special perks that each family member gets to share the effects of with their fellow teammates. The more blood you feed grandpa, the more that these perks become unlocked for you to use throughout the match. These perks can be obtained from the skill tree. In the skill tree, you'll be given many opportunities to receive extra attribute points, which can further enhance your innate attribute stats, that of which can also be performed by the victims, whose path choices are determined by their highest innate attribute values. Whether you decide to hunt down victims off your property or try to survive a bloodthirsty cannibalistic family, I hope this Texas Chainsaw Massacre guide has helped you out. And with that being said, good luck with your matches.